When starting with Tandem, many users want to simulate data before hooking into live systems. And with Tandem Connect, we've got two out of the box solutions to help you do just that. Some prereqs before starting the solutions is that you have a Autodesk Platform Services client ID in secret with that client ID added to your Tandem facility with managed permissions. Next, you'll want to have some parameters set up that we can write the simulated data to. I like to just start with a couple before adding more, but once those parameters have been created, make sure to add those to your classification. Now in the Tandem Connect library, let's go to Solutions, type in Simulation, and click Download on the Tandem Connection Simulator. Now we can follow the prompts if you would like by clicking Next and performing the actions in the instructions, but I'll walk you through what each plugin does. Starting at the scheduler, this plugin will automatically trigger our integration based on the time set up in our scheduling tab. As you can see, the default is set for every five minutes. We just need to set the start date and time to something slightly in the future, as well as your time zone, and click Save when you're done. Next, there is absolutely nothing for you to do in this converter, but just to give you an idea, this will create 20 devices, all prefixed with SIM device 1, 2, 3, etc., with the following simulated parameters that you can pick and choose data from. Feel free to modify things as you would like. For example, I'm going to change it to only 10 devices, get rid of my SIM prefix, and I'll even add another variable called amps with the corresponding minimax values, and this entire integration will still work. Finally, let's double click our tandem connector and enter in our client ID, client secret from APS, and our tandem facility ID and click save. We can now save and deploy this in the Autodesk Cloud by giving our pipeline a name and description. Upon deploying, if you hover over the plugins, you'll notice they say pending, and we can refresh our web browser, and you'll notice those statuses change to deploy. Now we can either wait for the schedule time to trigger, or we can double click the schedule data stream plugin to manually trigger the integration to speed things along. If we look at the logs tab, we should see our messages transacting across each plugin to see that our pipeline is working. Upon the first pass, Tandem Connect will automatically create all the connections in your facility, which we will then have to classify the connections. Once those connections are properly classified, we can then configure the connection mappings by clicking on the JSON path and then clicking on the payload in the left. Once you've got your connections mapped as you would like, on the next trigger, or in this case, I'll just manually trigger the integration again, Tandem will start storing the data and your devices should show connected. From here, you'll have randomly generated data every five minutes, and you can start pinning those connections and utilizing features such as heat maps and trends. Next, let's focus on a different type of simulation where we can automatically backfill data. You can do this with any stream. It doesn't have to be the ones that we just set up earlier, just as long as that stream has been configured with at least some data, which could have been sent from Postman, for example. To start, we first need to go to our thresholds and configure some limits, as this is how the integration will generate data based on these values. I'll create a threshold for our zone temp parameter and apply it to our connections. Next, I'll configure the JSON path to match the name of my parameter, as well as change the JSON path timestamp to look for an incoming TS variable to plot the data. In Tandem Connect, we're going to select the dropdown to create a new pipeline, go to Download from Library, and look for the Tandem Connections Auto Backfill solution. You can walk through the instructions if you would like, but let's walk through this together. First, we're going to add this days backfill JSON variable with the number of days we'd like to backfill. Next, we'll enable this add metadata to generate a timestamp from the plugin, as well as set our schedule slightly in the future. This integration only needs to run one time to do the backfill. 
Next, we'll go to the first tandem service plugin and change the data processing mode to retrieve stream assets to look for the connections that have thresholds configured. We'll fill out our client ID, client secret, facility ID, as well as the model ID, which is the same value as the facility, but with a DTM prefix instead of DTT. Finally, we're going to enable split mode in the plugin. Now we just have to go to the last tandem service plugin and change this mode to publish time series data. Entering in our client ID, client secret, facility ID, and model ID with that DTM prefix. Next, deploy out the integration and we can refresh the browser. Double click on the scheduled data stream plugin and click the sync now button to trigger the integration. Verify that the data is moving from plugin to plugin successfully. If everything looks good, we can come back to Tandem and refresh the web browser as we should have seven days worth of data to play with for any parameter that has a threshold configured and start to investigate threshold visualizations as well as the timeline capabilities.